before I forget, um, if Lena doesn't make it, she wanted you to give me whatever we get today. Okay. Because she had to take a bus in or something. Like that. She didn't know she was going to be How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? It's good. It's
Remember, we're, yeah, the we're curl. This is and what's the This is. It's not this. It's this. That's a, what's the other sign like that? Dry. 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 And summer. summer. Remember, you're, remember, you're wiping the sweat from your brow for summer. So you want to curl it. And straight is black. Right? Straight, straight is black. black. Straight. I don't know. Wipe it's not. <laughs> you know that's a sign for kid. Yeah. Kids. Oh, because really? they got snot in their nose. That's where it came from. Most of the signs, and I'm not a historical person, you know, I know some things, but I know that most of the signs have meanings. The history of it. Yeah. And it makes sense once you learn it. It's really cool. So this is ugly. Actions. Ugly. We don't say that. Number three is called what? What is the area called where you sign? Yes, a sign space. I said sign location. Sign location. Sign box. Sign box. Sign frame. Sign area. Sign area. So your basic sign area is right around the frame of your your body. You don't want to keep everything super super tight, but we don't. Some signs require that you come up here a little bit, but you don't want to be all wild. It's the sign space. It's usually probably right your shoulder width, right in that area. Something comfortable. There's times where you go outside the box, but you come right back in. Find it right in that area. Everybody get that? So it's really technically it's called the sign space. Number four was? Question. Afternoon. Oh, afternoon. Oh, afternoon. Okay. Morning. Now, I'm going to teach you something somebody told me when I first started signing. This is your, this is the horizon. So the sun comes up. So this is your horizon, your sun, morning, afternoon, night. So this helped me. You don't always have that horizon there, but once you're, once you get comfortable, morning, afternoon, night. So morning is facing you. Morning, yeah, the sun came up. Afternoon, sun's midday, you know. Kind of going down at night. This is your sun. This is your horizon. And in time, it becomes imaginary as you get more comfortable. Morning, morning. Like I don't do this. And that's what they do. That's a cuss in some languages. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. <laughs> Not really. But I don't do that. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. Very technical. But good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Number four was afternoon. Number five was a question. That's a question mark. Yeah. Aww. I thought it was who? 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 No, it's a question mark. It's literally a question mark. Where? Where? Okay. I this is who. Oh. This is a question mark on your chin. Who? And where? Where? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But this is a question mark. Like I'm talking to somebody, blah, 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 ask them. I ask you a question. So that's not what? No, 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 that's probably my name. Oh. You're this, make a question, you know, you can wiggle it or make a question mark with your hand, with your finger. You ask, I ask you a question. Is that, may I ask you a question? You may. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Is that, what no, you no, say? like you sign, like you, at the end of your sentence. It's not like the what, you kind of involve that in your, in oh. your, what, who, where, what. Right. But if you ask a question, if you, and you're asking a question, you can, that's kind of like for emphasis. I'm asking a question. After you're done. After you're done. I'm going to find it exactly where it, how it says it is. All right, number six was? Duck. 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 Chicken is with one finger, and it's just also number 20 away oh. from your face, but yeah. through your face is the beat, like a chicken. Yeah. And duck. That's what I'm asking me, because I still do chicken like this. Oh. Because this is for 
Yeah, it's a bird. It's a bird. That's, that's called chicken. It's, a, it's, it's been shortened now to this. Yeah. I've got people talking. I I I changed clothes. Oh, that's, that's fine. But I think if they, I, that's the way you learned it a long time ago. And I still There's see wrong, kids wrong, do. Yeah, it. I still see kids do that. That differentiates the difference yeah. between bird and chicken. There's chicken. nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Yeah. Wrong. That's what you call as we get more advanced. It's called a classifier. Yeah. Yeah. So you would. You know, or maybe you, you're describing, oh, that red bird. Yeah. That's all birds, but chicken is real. Yep, so this is two, though, two fingers. That's a duck. Yeah. That's what I did, two fingers. So number seven, Laura. You know it. I know it. I know it. What is it? I can't think of it. Oh, who knows it? So let me ask you. Yes, Six couldn't be no. It looked like no. No, because this would have been no. I was at my mouth right here. Oh. This was duck. Okay, sorry. No, it's just. No, it's no. Just one. Out here. Yeah, no, for emphasis. Yeah. That's for emphasis. But you can. Mm -mm. <laughs> that works too. That goes back to location. Yeah, Low goes back to location. Thank you very much. I did it here, which changed. Well, we'll get to that number. Number seven, any, not down, MC, not down, because that means like, I did a good job, I did a bad job. You're gonna make like a C, any, in the A, other way, oh. like a C. There we go, any. Now, just for uh, throwing out there, what if I did that? Any, any of them. Anyway, go to the other other room over there. Go to the other room. Move. I'm sorry. What? Let's see. Out. No other. 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 This is want. Like you see the reps. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, 
Very, very good. Any questions? Customs? Well, I guess I'll take them. All the papers. Do you want to look at that one? Yes. I 
with that, and he's like, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, I, I'll tell you this, deaf, I love the deaf, but they can be, it's their language, so I respect them and just go, oh, okay, it really doesn't matter. Things like that. Okay. Watch that I do it this way, myself. If you watch that DVD, they do it both ways. They do it both ways. Yeah, and they would like, wait a minute. Exactly. It depends, it can be a regional thing. I do it chin to ear. That's what I know stuff. some deaf do a ear to chin. And it's like, and they will get like that because, and I just go, okay, that's your language. I accept that. And you're going to, even some, maybe they haven't mastered their own language yet. Not your friend because he has, but you get some that haven't. That's fine. Okay. When I'm with you, I'm going to sign it like this. But I really, I was with an interpreter friend of mine this past weekend, and she's been interpreting for like 25 years. God skill. And she was telling me that, she's like, Sandy, I'm always learning with the deaf. Just when you think, oh, I got a good handle on it, something is going to get thrown at you. And she said she was interpreting, and she works for a company, Sorensen. You know Sorensen? So she's like, I'm watching. And I actually had to apologize to the hearing person because I realized I didn't know what in the world this deaf person was saying. And I said, could you please hold on a second? She had to tell the, the hearing person, hold on please. She had to listen and take in what this deaf person was saying for, for a minute to, oh, okay, now I understand. And she said, I was wrong. So I had to apologize to the hearing person. And then now I had to get the story right. So I just thought that was a good lesson also for me to be like, okay, you can never stop learning. Because you never stop learning. And if there, there's always going to be something that throws you for a loop. Just when you think you're, oh, I got, I got this. Oh, I know. Do the people that are dead get offended when you really don't know that you're dying? Yes. Um, because I noticed when I was at the carnival, I was trying very hard not to be offensive. Yeah. Uh, by the same token, I know I'm Fool on myself trying to pretend I knew right. what they were right. saying and I didn't know. Right. So I wasn't sure a lot of times how I should handle that moment. Some of them were real nice and very gracious. You right. know, if they slowed down and and they would, you know, grunt or say something. Um, but I was concerned that I might have been more offensive, not knowing that very really I, this past weekend, I had a lot of uh, education. And one thing that somebody taught me that I just really respected her signing ability and her connection with the deaf, she's an interpreter also. And she said to me that somebody had told her, you know, how can we really connect? She was asking, how can I really connect with the deaf? She said, please, if you really want to know, she said, learn our language. That got me. She was in a nice way teaching me that because, like I said, I, I came in here because when I came into signing and I have a lot to learn myself, that I don't want to ever be a snob <laughs> about anything because we're all in this learning together. Yes, they can be, they can take offense. That's just the honest truth. So learning it right, learning it, it's not about, I learned that, it's not about speed. It is about being clear. So your hand shapes are extremely important. That I cannot emphasize enough. Because you can change the entire meaning, and the deaf may not say, oh, that's wrong. They may not correct you. They may go, but they won't do this with you. If you want it, no, they won't. They'll be like, oh. And you're good. You have to go through this phase of it's awkward. The first thing that happens is you understand it. That's the first thing that happens. Ooh, my receptive. Oh, I got it. I got the language first. I got it. Now what do I do? But, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. But that's why when you just see yourself go through that knocks and you got to be with it, you get frustrated, and you got good people, especially deaf, that, that are patient with you and are going to teach you that's the best. But when you're around it, and then you're going to pick up little things. Like you've been a bus driver for so many years, you've picked up, oh, the things that the kids say. 
things that are very uh, special towards that deaf school. You know, mm -hmm. you're gonna know when they're signing something they shouldn't sign either. And I know you're not being mad because I've had that happen. And I'm like, what? And I was like, Lord, I'd copy everything, copy everything they were cussing. <laughs> It's like calling me bad names. <laughs> and I'm like, say it again, say it again. <laughs> they were just making fun of me. But my deaf friend was like, stop. She's open minded, stop. And I was like, oh, I love you. Thank you, because you knew that I was, that's how you learn language, it's like a baby. So if we're all babies, some of us are a little bit more advanced. You're definitely, you've been around it longer. But I liken it to, you got a baby, oh, and they rolled over. Some of us are just rolling over. <laughs> Some of us can pull themselves up and go, okay, and then go back down. You know? Some of us can pull themselves up on the coffee table. Some of us are like, woo, 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 take one step and on the coffee table. That's where we're at. We're all in different phases. But keep, this is the fourth largest language in the United States right now. Wow. Fourth. There is a big demand for American Sign Language. Copy, copy, copy. So we know deaf, and that's the best way to do it. That, isn't that what children do? Over the years, even with my teaching, you, especially if you're a teacher, if you have a foreign language student, this curious, I have to tell this one story, I never knew about She was Japanese, she was just too cute. I always hate her, she was so cute. And she would say the last three words that I said. <laughs> and I would laugh because she was so cute and so little, and I'm trying to teach her this skill, and she would say the last three words. But she was trying to learn English, that's why. Oh. And I was like, I know one, two, and three, that's it. I said, except to learn Japanese. But I, mean, <laughs> but I wanted to like, you know, have an interaction with her, but I really couldn't. But it was so cute, and that's where we we're at. So you want to copy every little sign you see. Oh, okay, well what does that mean? Explain to me. Explain it to me. I want to know. Oh, okay, cool. You throw in a couple of those signs, they're like, oh, they're trying to learn my language. So <laughs> to connect with the deaf, Learn their language and learn to talk to me. You guys are doing, I think you guys are great. I brag on you all the time. I really do. I think your hands are clear and you don't know what to sign them like this and looking at them going. My husband did that. When we first were starting to sign it, it was the cutest thing. He just like looked at his hands and looked like, like a baby, you know? And I was like, aww. <laughs> I never knew you when you were a baby, but. Friend. Friend, friend, if you're really good, really tight, best friends, friends. Remember that the more emphasis in your body that you put in expression, because we don't have like, that's our, our exclamation points. So if you're trying to make a point on something, like, do it like, tight. Hard of hearing, HH. Hard of hearing. Deaf, hard of hearing. Some deaf will not admit, some hard of hearing will not admit that they're deaf. I have an older friend of mine, she's like, no, no, I'm hard of hearing. That's okay, fine. It's fine. Because back in those days, there was a stigma. My mother in law's hard of hearing. She never learned sign language. We didn't realize that, put that, make that connection until we were already involved in sign language. And we were like, oh, we get why she does certain things. She actually matches deaf culture. And you match deaf culture, you don't even realize it. There's certain things that you do. Because back then, they did not teach sign language. There was a stigma. Now it's coming out, oh, it's kind of cool to learn sign language. It's really important to learn sign language. <coughs> if you're hearing, What was it important to give? I'm sorry. Important. So family is it's like the this. F fingers. Family is down. Important is up. Important. 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 It's really nothing. It's worthless. Important is up. Hearing. We've already done introduce. We've already done in, to meet. My nice. Nice to meet you. I want. We've already done a lot of this. This is great. You guys are amazing. We've already, last week was fun. You guys did great. 
you introduced a friend and you were able to describe your friend. Oh, here's good. Interacting with deaf people. I think we've already talked about this deaf culture note where now that you were you were had the opportunity to go and socialize with deaf, they have different behaviors that are special to deaf culture that we may as hearing people, and that's something too to recognize that we are Uh, a story that was told to me this weekend. Um, this interpreter was talking to a hearing person and she had to get this car repaired done. And she was all upset. She was with this deaf man. And she was like, they were all friends. She said, I think this was up in Canada. And he said, or she said, it was really expensive car repair. And he looked at her and she was like, I'm broke. And he was like, you don't have any problems. She was like, what are you talking about? He's like, hmm, how can I explain this to you without offending you? You're here. You're here. She said that kind of helped her. Oh, I see. Yeah. So this money, the problem to us, not having any money, but to them, we don't have any problems because we're here. Um, yes, what if it's both? Like, you know, like like our son, you know, one ear is completely, would he be considered deaf and hard of hearing? What, they didn't, they didn't cross, they didn't tell you? Nobody's ever said he's deaf or he's hard of hearing? Well, I mean, <laughs> I just, you know, because that's the school. Because he has a hearing aid? Well, no. Well, that and when he was at um, the first school that he went to, Red Oak, uh -huh. um, he had a deaf and hard of hearing te teacher. And, you know, when he took him for the ABR, they said, you know, severe, moderate, and profound. Yeah. And oh, so he's profoundly deaf. In, in the left ear. And oh, then, wow. And then in the right ear, he's severe to moderate. Yeah, he's deaf. He's okay. considered deaf. He's, okay. It's very rare. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who is. It is very rare to have a, uh, what they call, I don't know, lack of a better word, stone deaf. That's very rare to find somebody like that. I happen to have a friend who is like that. He can't hear anything. Nothing. 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 But he, yeah, yeah. And, and I'll tell you something else too, but this is, you already experienced this probably. But um, there is, it's very rare to be, still, like they say, you can't hear anything. They can feel vibrate, like Zachary can't even feel vibrations. It's that bad. I don't think he has any ear, nothing. But usually they can, they can feel something, that's why sometimes people are like, oh, it must be quiet. They're not quiet. Banging. There's a lot of banging. Slammed. They can't hear it, but they can feel it. Yeah. yeah. So that's why. That's part of that culture. Right. Because um, shuffling of the feet. With him. Part of that culture. They want him to. You know, the the audiologist was like, he feels yes. vibrations. Yes. So you know, because initially, I was like, what's the purpose of giving a hearing aid if he you know can't hear? But they were like, it really helps because he feels the vibrations and, mm -hmm. and he has a loner as during the school day, you know, for his left ear. And um, he was like, mom, where's my two hearing aids? My home, you know, my school, you know what I mean? And he said, I like the two, uh, you know, so it lets me know that it, it helps him, you know. Well, in that one ear, he has, he has hearing on all different frequencies. Oh, nice. Yeah, so she, they put a percentage on it, about 50%. Oh, okay. So. Is that what you're working with? Uh, oh, no, I thought you worked in audiology. No, speech. Oh, speech, that's what it was. Okay. That goes hand in hand. Yeah. Um, oh, but a lot of times, and I don't know if this was your experience, but a lot of times, uh, I know with Zachary, 
he was born deaf, but he had so many other health problems, they did not know he was deaf until he was five. We didn't find out until last year either. Ran off because we That's took not them. a common though. We That's were just talking about that on the yeah. way. We took him to the doctor and the doctor was like, oh boys, you know, because he wasn't talking. You know, and, uh, and, and the, the, our girls were like, blah, 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 blah. You know, and, yeah. and so we didn't understand. We thought maybe autism, but we took him because he, Tony said, well, maybe let's have his hearing checked. And we took him yeah. and he, and they said, oh no, he's fine. You know, they said boys are slower to develop than girls. And, but then at four, we were like, okay, he's still not talking. So we were called and then. Three? We took that. Mm -hmm. to, right, we took him to the, uh, well, no, because that was like in 2010, he got his hearing aid. We took that first. Right, it, it was uh, two weeks before his fourth birthday, right. And they, <coughs> you know, because we, we thought he was autistic. We, but then we looked it up and we were like, no, he doesn't have autistic sign, you know, okay. but we didn't understand, you know, and the doctor was like, well, he definitely has some type of developmental delay, and she assigned, this new doctor just took him through all kind of tests, and one of them was the ABR. I don't know what ABR is. It's an audio brain response where they put him, they put him on propofol and put him under and tested the nerves in his ear. That's how they Right, and that's and he called me. He says he can't hear. I was just devastated, you know, and I was just like, yeah. what? You know, because we took him to an ENT, oh, and this guy said he can hear. He's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, amazing. So we spent another year looking into autism. Are you kidding? I'm, I'm not kidding. I swear and, and the whole time it was just it was, a, and then the minute we, you know, got him, so they wanted to do loners. Because I didn't know hearing aids were so expensive, you know, yeah, and, um, yeah. mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my God, what, you know, so they put him in loners and um, the minute she put it on, he was like, it, was, it just, I, it brought tears to my eyes. I was just like, oh my God, all this time. And from then, he has taken leaps and, and oh, bounds. He is just, unbelievable. now that, that is know, unbelievable. And how old is he? He's five now. That's not an uncommon, unfortunately. This is why this will let you in, and you all being proactive parents, thumbs up, seriously. You all have the power, especially at that school that he goes to, you have the power to change some things. You do. And you have more power than you realize. And that has been told to me. You have more, more power to go in there and say, and demand certain things, and do it. Really? Um, that the way for other children. Yeah. And this will let you in on, that's right, and it will let you in on a little bit of why the deaf community can be so frustrated because of the way they get treated right. in the medical community. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're fine. How many people out there are autistic, have been treated for autism and are deaf? We don't know. <laughs> exactly. We don't know. Yeah. And they're not doing the right tests, they're not doing the right things, mm -hmm. they're not, and they're, oh, he's fine. How do you do a hearing test on a kid and then he's deaf? Right. What kind impossible. of what impossible? Yeah. What, did they do? what did they do? Which is very it's and that's why I'm like I can't change the world. I can only just do this. What you know, right. and encourage everybody to learn and be. I had a friend last week. I was not able to take her, and but sometimes deaf accept things that they should not accept. All you got to do is ADA on them, on a, on a doctor. I said, don't, I'm working. Don't make me go ADA up on this doctor. Seriously. She's having a lumpectomy. Provide her with an interpreter. And they're like, no. And the deaf lady's like, we're not to tell it. She's asking Sandy, what is lumpectomy? That's literally, I'm like, what the world? She's texting me, what is biopsy? She's asking me, what does biopsy mean? And I said, okay, word is this, mean, send off research, make sure no cancer. And she was like, oh, wow. You talk with your mom. She's generational deaf, too. I said, she's not really close to her mother, but I'm like, she's like, yeah, I found that. I told her mom. You know, oh, she, why are you going to tell me we have this problem in our family? Why are you going to tell me? Well, that's in hearing and deaf families that happens. But I was like, you have, the Georgia, I have it on my phone, the Georgia Council for the Hearing Impaired, Gachi? Yeah. Yeah. Some more 
Okay. Georgia. Count Georgia, Georgia Council, Council for the Hearing Impaired. Impaired. Now, she did not, she waited too late to get an interpreter. Because, um, you know, this is what they'll do. Oh, we can write notes. Okay, you're dealing with your health, and the deaf will be like, okay, well, I just write notes. No, you can't. Wow, because that doesn't explain anything. This no. is right now. It's they don't still, understand them. You yeah. know, the vast majority of deaf do not read. English does not make sense to them. That doesn't make sense. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Does not make sense. So that's why I said on first day, S-E-E, -E, signed exact English, that's a language in and of itself. We're doing American Sign Language. American Sign Language is a different language. And the deeper you get into it, you're going to go, whoa. It's a big picture. Yes. It's a picture. That's why I say, you don't know the sign, act it out. If you don't know what the sign is. But English is another language. You're learning a new language. Americans. So that's why when people say that's insulting to deaf, just write it out. So think about for how many years they've been dealing with that. Oh, why don't they read? Some read, some read. If they come from families that really push that, some are very educated, very can go both. It's called mainstream. But if some does not have, if some do not have that capability and they're like true biz deaf. Why push it? You can't, you know, oh, they'll say, oh, I was reading this. Okay, well, explain this to me. Okay, so I know, oh, wow, I'm so proud of you. You did understand that. Very good. Very good, but there may be some, like, she's asking me, what does blue blue to mean? Seriously? And you all are saying, we don't have to provide her with an interpreter. Yes, you do. The American Disabilities Act, you have to provide her with an interpreter. It is the law. Wow, that is so deep. They do it all the time. They do it all the time. She's from Chicago. She hates it here. But it doesn't matter where you go. It does not matter where you go. She's blaming here. No, I'm blaming But it's here. not, it's, it doesn't matter where you go. But if you go in, that's what I'm saying, if you go in, a lot of these people, a lot of the, even the medical community, they don't realize it's, it's, you have to do this. You have to provide. You have to provide this for your deaf in the, in the community. Oh, we don't have to. Oh. Yeah. Yes, you will. Well, so there, it is very deep. It is very deep. Absolutely. There's some they can get the lawsuit up on you. That's why I said don't make me go lawyer off. Eight, 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 eight. Come on now. They was they fought for this. You absolutely. They fall into this. You absolutely have to provide them with an interpreter. She had a biopsy done and did not have an interpreter. That was sad. And it's sad. That's so sad. And I couldn't be there for her. I had to work. She understood. <coughs> Oi. So, oh, this was my question maker. This is called the question mark, question mark. Give me an example. I think you all have it too. Of, I'm going bathroom. Everybody knows this is bathroom. T. You will see the old sign, restroom. Throw it out. That's English. T. I guess it stands for toilet. <laughs> A friend of mine was like, oh, yeah, now you're in deaf culture. We don't ask anymore. <laughs> we announce it. <laughs> they don't ask. <laughs> they don't ask. They just go, I'm going to the bathroom. You got to tell everybody. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. We're in deaf culture now. Yeah, they're not shy. They're not shy. So I've taken, you know, things that we would never say. They say. And then the question is, me? No, what are you looking at? I'm looking up there because there's people walking by. <laughs> 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 like, I know. I know. What paper are you looking at? Oh no. Um, you all may have it. I have it in my book. Oh, it's on your in your um. You do have it on uh, classroom exercise I. Is it I? And then that deaf culture. It says page 15. I'm getting. I kind of do that way because it's down that way. 
Or I'm going to say, <coughs> it was on your, um, and then also that it had that deaf culture note on here about how to get, we've been talking a lot in this class tonight, but we'll get, we've done pretty good, we'll do that in a second, we're going to play two games with turning off voices. So that's the sign for turn off your voice. Um, the hand wave or the shoulder tap, if you need to get a deaf person's attention, you get go behind them and check, tap their shoulder, or you can try to get, because deaf, there's also um, a disease that is only found among deaf people called Oh my lord, I know this. It's a vision disease where they have literally no peripheral vision. I have a friend that has, like, she, she, I met two people that have it. And, oh, I cannot remember what it's called. Tell me. They have no peripheral vision at all. Yes. And so, if you need to get their attention, you just can't do the sideways. You've got to be, like, right in her face if you're going to talk to her. She'll, do, she'll turn right to you. But that's only in death. So, if you are, were going to a deaf event, how would you sign to somebody that, how would you sign, Judy, your name? And you're going to a deaf event, how would you feel? And you would want to explain to somebody that you're new and you're learning sign language. I can introduce myself, but I can't say all that. I can't say <laughs> you you can. Introduce yourself. Chat, 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 chat. 
American Sign Language, bathroom, go, we've already discussed, to learn, or learn, yeah, learn, that's fine, no, we've discussed that. Please, 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 can you say I'm sorry? Yes. If you want somebody to repeat themselves, or to say it again, or to sign it again, again, I need my fingers. Again? Sign? Again. I didn't understand. Sign? Again? You are going way too fast. I saw some person do this. Be careful. I don't know what that is. Not that it's towards you. Thank you. And yes. For emphasis, you can see that sign, yes, yes, why yes, for emphasis. Anytime you see a word that we have how, why, why, has to emphasize something. Tell your son, tell him he bought me. Or you're excited about something? Yes. So it's very, um, so Judy, do you go back to your, are you? leaving somebody, you can say bye. This is very common in deaf culture. Love you. Bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Say bye. Bye. Um, oh, I'm so happy to meet you. Bye. Is that, awesome. is that feminine or masculine? What, this? Yeah. No, can I, I do that? Yeah, you can. That's just your, that that's, 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 you're just leaving. Walking out? Uh, no, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. Oh, no, can you do it? <laughs> no, I can do it. <laughs> okay. That's just when you're leaving. Okay. That's all that means. Yeah. That's just fine. Yeah, yeah that's okay. fine. It means I love you, bye. but that's very, yeah, no, that's not a feminine. That's deaf culture. So, okay, so, is there feminine and masculine? Not that I know of. Emphasis on signs? Yeah. No. Right. Just, so okay. If he no. sees a woman and doing this, it's a deaf thing. It's a deaf. So if he says, yeah, that, if he's with you. Yeah, that doesn't mean like I no. That one would turn around like yeah. Yeah. No, see, that's, that's us hearing people. <laughs> we we put a twist on it. Yeah, we always do. Never just like love you. He'll be. I see him in Kroger. <laughs> she's deaf, honey. She's deaf. <laughs> so I'm so happy to meet you. We talked about our expressions before. I'm so happy to meet you. Wow, it was nice to meet you. Thank you. Yes. I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt. Sure. You just did happy like this. I'm so happy. This is happy. Happy too. Okay, so it can be with both hands. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It can be. Okay. I've never I seen them what I'm wearing. I've never seen you do that before, yeah. so that's fine. Happy. Happy, happy to meet okay. you. Happy, you, you could have been this nice to my way. Um, or you can do same, you know, if you're happy to meet somebody, you know, we're exchanging. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.
more important it is, the more you would emphasize it. See you later, that's a very common one too. See you later. Oh, he does. Okay, so now I wanted to play some games. Oh, this is, I'm going to give you a homework assignment and then we're going to have fun the rest of the class. <laughs> this is your homework assignment. Each of you are going to introduce yourself to the class, so work on your names. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. We won't be in Jamaica. Oh, my word. I'll be in Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's gonna be, oh, this is a sign for Jamaica. Don't you need a babysitter? <laughs> He's not going? He's going. Oh, oh, okay. You so say you need a babysitter? I do. Especially because my other one, my, my, my babysitter is no more. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. So, uh, so I'll still write it down and then we'll practice with each other. Please yeah. have fun with it. Yeah. Because this them. is all. This is actually okay. when you come. Yeah. I'm writing this down. Oh, I do. Yeah. I'm I writing. do all the time. <laughs> I'm it. writing this down. A special note. Jeff. But you know, I do practice She's with the baby. About herself. And Jaquette and Tony <laughs> following me. This is gonna. And I actually want to hear something really cool. Because this is your. Farah. Because this is what I want you. This is what I want you to do. You have to introduce yourself to the class and tell a story of something that happened. Doesn't have to be a long story. Just tell a brief story of something that happened. If you go on the cruise, you going on a cruise, right? Mm -hmm. So something that's fun, like the man came and he, you know, blah, 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 you know, whatever, or we went, we saw something, you know, or we did this, or just a brief story, just a brief story. Introduce yourself, or you'd be like, what happened? This is what happened. Let me tell you a story. Yeah, his teacher asked me to send some activities of what they'll be doing so she can explain to the class, like, why, he, why he's out of school that week. So I asked Did, her. Do they have school next week? They, is there yes, ASD? Monday. Yeah, Monday. Oh, Monday and Tuesday? Man, I thought Wednesday, just Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and they're off Thursday. So it's not a full week out. No, but yeah, they're a full week out. Uh huh. In Henry County. So okay, so but y'all still have that. Huh? Okay. Uh, anybody else not gonna be here? You have the same homework assignment. Oh, just I just want an introduction. Of hi, I'm so and so, so and so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make it fun. So now we're gonna play the guess who game. Okay, this is going to be easy. You guys are already good at this. This is helping you to train your eyes. And I don't have a DVD. That's why I have it. I, I don't have it, but I don't have a TV hook up here. Because there's some DVDs that we should be watching, but there's nothing here. It would be cool to see some stuff. I have, I, I have a note into my boss. There's absolutely no way I could promise this to you, but Deaf Story is very, very important to deaf culture. Um, and I have, a, a, she would be so good. I have this friend of mine that she would be great. And so I kind of asked, but I haven't gotten a response back. But if push comes to show, she'll at least, I hope, she'll have be able to come to the last dinner, the, the dinner that we have, because she's funny. Where is a good place to get the DVDs? Because you know, the bookstores, they, they just have, they have flashcards, I'm really not a big fan of the book. This is a good, this is probably the best book in sign language I've ever seen. The, the Master ASL. The Master ASL. Yeah. But I'm really not a fan of books. And it's just because DVDs are better. I, I got signing for dummies when I first started. I mean, that was overwhelming. That was overwhelming to me. But now it would be like, oh, it's fine. So, I mean, very, very easy stuff. I, I'll tell you the truth. I don't even know if they do it anymore. I started signing out uh, Sesame Street. Remember when Linda, she was deaf? Yeah. Do they even do that on Sesame Street anymore? No. I mean, I don't know. But it's but it's very, very, no. They need to. Very yeah. uncommon to see it anymore. But down Blue's Clues, they do a lot yes. of signing. Blue's Clues. On Nickelodeon, they have, yeah, my son yeah. loves Blue's Clues. Right. Oh, okay. So Mine he does signing? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. They, well, I don't know. Um, 
the ones that are newer with Joe, they do a lot more. In fact, I've seen an episode. Uh -huh, he'll, he'll do the three. And um, which it's great because um, Camden turned three this weekend. So oh. I got I got looks because whenever I said his name, I would I would say Camden's three. Right and here, he's three. Three. Okay. He's three. He's three. And all the way up to ten. Okay. All the way up to ten from the chin. From the chin. Okay. Which, good Jesus. because I would I would say Camden's three and I would hold my hands out like this and everyone kind of looked like. Why? And no one asked, but I got the look. Like, why are you doing it like that? You know why what? I have kids. This? I do that when I'm counting in school. But I heard this um, just to show you how much support deaf people do need. Uh, it was explained to me this weekend that a friend of ours does a class on deaf culture, and he calls it the ooh factor. And I appreciate that because what are you going to do in public when you're with your deaf friends and they're making noises, or your kids and people are doing ew, you know? I'm proud of you. You keep it going. The oof factor. Because other people are going to say stuff. Your son, who cares? Get over it. <laughs> you know? But they need support. They need the support. They're going to be signing, and that's too bad for you. Too bad. Too bad. TV. Too bad. Too bad. Why? Because I'm not going to stop my, I, like, the one that got the lump. She, she, she's very loud. You know, but I just let her be her. Is she comfortable around me? Yeah, I just let her be her. I'm not embarrassed her. You know, at first, you know, it, from a hearing per perspective, it can be a little bit like, mm -hmm. like but we got, we, I had to take her to like, the social security office. And the guy, we were just talking. We're talking, she's loud. And we were talking, and so the guy was like, listen, everybody needs to, who did he keep coming over to tell me quiet, me and her? Really her. But I was like, okay. <laughs> but I wasn't telling her to be quiet. You know, because she was just, <laughs> she's laughing. <laughs> and she's laughing. And they had to be like, be quiet because other people couldn't hear. Plus, it draws a lot of attention, but that's how people, they don't understand deaf culture. They don't understand. Just let them be them. Just let them be. They're expressing themselves. Let them be. They're not doing. They're just laughing. You know. But there's a lot of education that needs to happen. So, but I like what he called it the ooh factor. So we can't. We gotta, you know, be there. Um, let's make a semicircle first. So we're gonna play the guess who game first for a few minutes. You gotta even do this. So we'll make. You know, playing games. Is that what you said? Jeez. Oh, lovely. Oh, I thought you said I love playing games. <laughs> I like that too. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's three. 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 No, 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 no. Three. three. Yeah. From the chin. Any age. Anybody. Age. It's your age. Like your son. Three. Your son's yeah, five. He's five. five. He's okay. five. From the chin. And put it forward. All the way till five. Ten. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So we'll make a son or yeah, that's a good that's a better if you guys go that way. We need to move this table. <laughs> yeah, move the table. Oh, then we'll have to move it back. So? Oh, Give us space. All right, so you can go over there, Mr. Is it a checkbook? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ms. you ready?
pay attention. You have to look for things too. So in these games, all that's all that. You're trying to, I'm trying to have fun while you train your eyes, okay? This game is from South Africa. This is really cool. So let's make a circle. So this game, I'm going to get out of it <coughs> because, because I want you to draw that eye on. So we're going to start off. It's a blow for just turning your head, okay? But you all have the power to change the direction. So you have to pay attention to this game. So for instance, if I turn this way, then it has to be that hand, and you have to go that way. But if Holly wants to, she can blow back this way. Have you played this game? You don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it can go that, so you can do this, but you gotta pay attention, it has to be, you understand? Mm -hmm. The side. So we have to do. But you can change it. No, you can't change it. Okay. So, so you don't for, have to do what the person You do does. not have to do it, but you have to respond. Mm -hmm. So we can go back and forth. Okay. If you give it to me, I can give it back to you. You can give it back to me. I can give it back to you. You can give it back to me. You just got to be quick about it. You got to be. So when you, when you hesitate, you're out. Oh. You hesitate, you're out. So this is a very yeah. fast moving game, and then wherever it stops, then that next, that person's out, that next person starts the game, starts. So it's a fast moving game, but you gotta pay attention. Everybody and understand again? Hand, yeah, and your thumb is like this. Yeah, so you're gonna either go this way or you're gonna go that way. So you're gonna like okay. throw it, you're gonna throw it. Yeah, so you gotta pay attention because it can go real fast, and all of a sudden it can change directions. And then it can, and then you can, whoop, 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 you know, do that kind of stuff. All right, ready? Okay, everybody can see each other. You wanna make sure you can see each other. All right, ready? Go. Who's better? Start. Who's better? Start. Oh, no, Jaquette's out. Come on, come on, come on. Watch the game. You know why she was out? Because no. she, she, she did the opposite hand. Oh, okay. She did the outside hand. Oh. Oh. Got to be careful. Oh, Got to be careful. That's good. Oh, no. Oh, no. You did. You did. All right. So that means, Holly, go ahead.
you know, take it to the schools or play or whatever, bring it in, you know, that thing was fun too. The Guess Who game, you guys did real good. You can, you're starting to, you know who we're talking about. That's good. This was green. Green, remember, and you, you did it right. Black is that straight finger. Black. And the pants. Pants, yeah, you can see peas. There's another one too, but I think peas, pants. Gray. Gray. Um, you're mixing basically your black and white, so it's kind of mixing. Um, What's skirt again? What? Just skirt. Skirt. Okay. skirt. These are your clothes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clothes. Jacket. Jacket. Clothes. Your clothes. What's the huge? Uh, Okay. Close. Close. Down. Yeah. Your thumbs down. Five pink bag, finger hands, thumbs down. Your clothes. Your skirt. Pants. You know, your shirt. But you want to make sure you know it's your shirt because this is volunteer. Oh, what's volunteer? Volunteer. <laughs> oh, like you're pulling your collar. Volunteer. So it's also shirt, you know, but if you're explaining to somebody, I'm, I'm a volunteer. Oh, so this Context. Different context. Sign language is, is a lot of it is about the context. Um, like I said, I don't know if everybody heard that, but in English we have like you know, how many million thousand millions of words? Anybody know? <laughs> we have a bunch of sources. But in sign language, it's growing, but it probably only has a couple of thousand signs. So you can use one sign for a variety of different words. So that's why I don't get frustrated. If you'll see that, you may see, but I thought that wasn't very well, it might be. But in the context, it meant something completely different. Mm -hmm. um, so that was it. So I hope you guys had fun remembering your homework assignments and make it fun. Tell a cool story, tell a fun story, something funny that happened to you at work or at school or with your son or when you were on vacation. Does everybody know vacation? Well, this is holiday, vacation. Vacation? So if you're going on vacation, have a good time. Um, this is